Have you ever seen a big brown scruffy bird, like this one? It may have been an immature bald eagle. Today I'm going to show you how to identify young bald eagles. Everyone knows the iconic look of the bald eagle, but young bald eagles look very different from their adult counterparts. Look at this one, sitting next to its parent, wishing to share their lunch. In the wild, bald eagles live up to 30 years, but it takes them 5 years until they get their adult feathers. Here's how to tell the age of an immature bald eagle. Baby eagles are little white balls of fluff, adorable. All they do is eat and grow, and they grow fast. At about 5 weeks old, they start getting their brown feathered coat. After 10 to 14 weeks, they fledge. Fledging means they develop wing feathers that are large enough for flight, and they leave the nest. Let's look at how the young eagles develop in the first five years of their lives. I took all the photos I'm about to show you in Vancouver, BC and Seattle, Washington. In the first year of their life, bald eagles have a dark plumage. The easiest way to recognize the first year eagle is that it is pretty much entirely brown. As you can see here, there are barely any white feathers on the body. The beak of the bird is clearly black at the tip. Another difference is that the eyes are darker than adult eagles. The wings also have a slightly rounder shape, as the primary flight feathers are longer on a young eagle. The second year is highly variable for eagles. Their beaks begin to slowly turn yellow-brown. They start getting white modeling, which means they have white feathers all over. This makes them look much more patchy than a first year eagle. The modeling is on the breast, the belly, the underside and the top of the wings. Their tails begin to turn white as well, but they are still patchy and have a brown tip. Also the shape of their wings begins to change. As seen in this photo, the wings of a second year eagle might have jagged edges since the old feathers are longer than the newly grown adult sized feathers. By the third year, the eagle starts to slowly look more like the iconic adults. The eagle's head and tail are gaining more white feathers, however they are still very patchy. A third year eagle is a bit more recognizable compared to the second year. Often there is a dark patch right behind the eye. The eye begins to turn a lighter pale yellow color. The eagle's beak is now fully yellow with no more black coloring visible. The belly and the underwing begin to turn dark again and the wings have now gained the sleeker adult shape. By the fourth year, the bald eagle looks mostly mature like an adult. The white parts still have some brown streaking. This gives them a bit of a dirty look. The rest of the feathers are mostly dark brown, but some small patches of white can still be seen. The tail loses the brown color at the tip. Sometimes the brown streaking and the darker eyes can continue up to the fifth year as well. By the fifth or sixth year, the eagle reaches the mature plumage, the feather coat of a fully grown adult. The feathers on the head are a gorgeous white which makes a stark contrast against the entirely brown feathers across the body. The eye is strikingly pale and the beak is a clear yellow. The tail is now a pure white, top and bottom. The wings are entirely brown. In flight, the white head and tail are clear signs of a fully mature bird. An adult bald eagle is a beautiful bird but I think it's very fun to see the scruffy teenagers as well. If you live in a place with bald eagles and you see a large brown bird, look closely. It might not have the iconic white head, but it could still be a bald eagle. You can try to determine its age by using these tips. It can be hard to see the differences from a distance, so you might need some optics to get closer. Try to see if the head is a clear white or patchy. Look at the color of the beak and the eyes, and look for white patches across the body. You can come back to this video and compare what you saw against the photos I've taken. Have fun! 
Thank you for watching my video. Thank you, Dr. Scott Ford, for helping me with my bird age estimates. All the photos you saw in the video were taken by me. Please hit like if you liked, and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next video. You can also follow me on Twitter at BigPurpleSentry. Happy birding, and talk to you again soon!